I got this file three out, and I'm gonna show you how to do a DOD delete. I figured with the motor out and on an engine span, y'all will really see what's going on. Y'all know exactly what you're doing because you can see everything. If you can't get an engine down to this point in a car, you probably shouldn't be doing a DOD delete in the first place. Um, so is this going to be the same on any LS engine with displacement on demand? Yeah, well, until you get to the LTs, I think they're different. Well, that's I why know. I said LS. I haven't messed with one, but yeah, I'm 90% sure every LS DOD delete is going to be the same thing. So first, you're going to strip your engine down, get your manifolds off because you have to take your heads off. Get your intake off. We're gonna get down to our rockers. We're gonna go through, just take off all the rockers. Once you get all these loose, and this is kind of repetitive from some of our other videos, but if you're looking this video up for this process, I'm going to go ahead and explain everything. When you take these off, you're going to pull off this mounting plate, I guess, what they would call it, and pull them off all at once. And we're going to set those so we know that these are the passenger side. Probably wouldn't hurt anything if you did switch them up, but... It doesn't hurt to not switch them up. We got new push rods, it doesn't matter. If you're not using new push rods, I would probably go ahead and keep those separated out so you know which one goes in what slot. Uh, use a piece of cardboard to put a bunch of holes in it, that way you know exactly where they go. Up to this, we're gonna get the head off. Y'all would already have your spark plugs out at this point. See if this bad boy can do this. Ain't looking like it. When you take your head bolts out, get new ones. It is not worth the risk to reuse head gaskets, and it might work or it might not. Just get new, new head bolts. Hey, it was running. Take me too bad. Okay, once you're to this point, you can look down in there. And you can tell which one are DOD lifters. This is a DOD lifter. This is junk. Take these out of everything. Hear me, GM? Also, these trays, get new ones of these also. I'm going to have to vacuum the shit out of this. It's 
So. They sell DOD, DOD deletes that you just replace the DOD lifters and you leave these. This motor is actually getting a cam, so we're, we're you. So we're changing the lifters. Look at all that. Somebody didn't change their oil often, or they got coolant in there. I wonder blown if this head motor's gasket or something good. That it looks like a blown like blown head gasket stuff. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's getting new head gaskets. Okay, we got all our old lifters out. If you're just doing a DOD delete, leave your other four lifters and just take out the center ones, or the ones that have the extra spring. The longer ones. Yeah. Uh, then you're gonna repeat this process on this side. For the sake of the video, we're gonna skip to the next step. You're going to take this off. This is called a valley cover. Uh, you will have to order a new valley cover because this is not reusable. This is with the bottom of the DOD. This is a DOD valley cover. These are your solenoids that activate your different, uh, to shut off these cylinders. And then it uses these oil passages coming through here to actually shut it off to the valves. Interesting. There are other ways to do a DOD delete other than what I'm telling y'all. The other way that you would do it is people use the exact same valve cover, but they they tap these holes and they put plugs in them. That's kind of a not the right way to do it. We're gonna do it the right way, which is a new valley cover where those are plugged off. So Very dirty. We're gonna get these heads resurfaced, and then we're gonna come back when we're assembling everything. So 30 seconds for y'all. It'll be tomorrow for us, and we'll show you all the whole reassembly process. And the cleaning. And the cleaning. Yeah, well, it'll be cleaned before we film again. That's horrible. Look at all that in there. It like, I don't even want to touch it. That's glass. How, how's there glass in here? I'm going to clean this motor out real good. I'm going to flip it over while it's on a stand. I'm going to check one of the bearings, make sure it's fine. I don't want to put this motor in someone's vehicle and it'd be a bad motor, obviously. So we're back. We got the hedge back from the machine shop. Uh, we're ready to go ahead and continue the DOD delete. Right now I'm putting in stock lifters. You can tell the difference in the DOD delete lifters because hold on if I can get this one open oh obviously it's a lot shorter these are LS7 style lifters I believe and these are going in and these come pretty old they should just slide in they should not take any amount of force As you're putting these in, you'll notice that there's a flat spot on the top and bottom. You want to make sure you get those on the top and bottom, because otherwise you're going to have a hell of a time trying to get the, the uh, lifter trays in. Sometimes you got to wiggle a little bit to find the bore, and then once it's in the bore, it just slides right in. See, that one fell in faster than I could push it. 
Gravity. Okay. We got this side, we got all the lifters in. So you're gonna get your new lifter trays. And you can see this little notch right here is gonna clear where it's cut out on the tray. I'm gonna push it down on top of the lifters. Where do you get this? Do Until you, it fully just... seats. This will push all the way up against that where the threads are tapped. Can you just get online and get a DOD delete kit? Yeah. And it'll pretty much be all this stuff no matter what? Yeah. And then you put in your bolt. We're going to torque those in a minute. And there's one side done. <clears throat> what all engines does this work on? Uh, I think anything LS based that has DOD. And on this side you're doing basically the same thing? Yeah, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I'll be putting all the lifters in and then I'll be uh, Put in the trays in. Don't do one side and not the other. Yeah. That should go without saying, but. Use the whole kit. I've met some people that would make me question. Now that red stuff you see in there next to the uh, lifters, that is uh, assembly loop. I just like to squirt a little bit in the bore just to help on the startup. Also, the trays are very important. Don't think you can leave these out. These have to be in there. They keep the lifter from spinning on the cam. If your lifter starts spinning, eventually you're gonna have two cams. Because it's gonna eat it in half. I've said this many times on the channel, this impact is weak as hell, so um, it's fine. <laughs> There's no risk of breaking these off with this impact. At home, do it with a wrench, that way you can feel how tight it is and you could get a good feel for it. You can also find the torque specs for something like this if you want to. I think they're 22 inch pounds or something like that. Ridiculous. Weak. So next... I'm going to find a wire brush and clean off this uh, mating surface. So you got your new valley cover. This should have come with your kit. This will come with a DOD delete kit. Or it will come... You can also tap these without buying this plate. You could tap these and put plugs in them. That's fine. Make sure you put sealant the liquid sealant on the threads not teflon tape because if the teflon tape come like comes loose 
and it starts going through your oil valleys, then it's going to get into like a bearing or something. It's, it might cause some issues. Or it could block a passage. So like just a little dab of silicone on each plug as you put it in. But for this video. Yeah, for this video, we're going to use the plate that mm -hmm. comes it, with the DOD. Delivery. Which it would probably be best for them to do this too anyways because I'm sure it's not expensive at all. I don't know how much it is actually. I know the whole kit's like five hundred dollars. Yeah. To save you a headache later of replacing it lifters because of DOD. And y'all probably already know since you're here, DOD lifters are notorious for going bad. And you will need a tune for this. You can't just do this and then drive around. It's going to be trying to turn it on DOD mode. <laughs> I don't know if you actually need a thing. I bet it'll throw a check engine light as soon as DOD tries to come on and it can't. Probably would. Yeah. No. <laughs> I bet it'd go into limp mode, actually. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and say you should get yeah. a tune. Definitely recommended to get a tune with this. I would not throw this together and not get a tune. That's not different. Don't you pay attention to that. My messy ways have come back to haunt me. Your bolts with your kit will not be different. Okay, so there is actually a torque sequence on this. I don't think it matters, but for those of you who want to know, you just start from one side, whichever side you want, and then work your way out. And just keep going in a crisscross pattern. And there you go. Then <clears throat> we're going to get the heads on and I'm going to show you the torque sequence. Okay, so it's been a few days. We're going to finish the DOD uh, delete how to. Uh, I believe last thing we did was put this cover on. We're going to, we got the lifters in, we got the trays in, we got the new head gaskets on. Now we're going to put the heads on and I'm going to show you the torque specs and the torque sequence. Doing this inside a vehicle is going to be a little harder than that. Clean these heads off. Somebody probably already noticed it, but this head is on the wrong side because of this right here. Or I can cut that out and you can just restart it. No, it's okay. Okay. There was a comment being topped. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly. Somebody said, wrong side! But make sure you, this is your coolant temperature sensor. Make sure that's on the front on the driver's side of the vehicle. Uh, otherwise, your plug isn't going to reach. You can always take out the plug out of one head and then put this in one side. Just swap the plug and the sensor, but it's a pain. And why wouldn't you could just do that? I'm going to show you the torque sequence and then I'm going to show you the torque specs. So first we're going to go over our torque sequence and then we're, obviously I don't have the actual head bolts to show you because we got the wrong ones. Uh, but the in, in the torque sequence the first thing we're going to do, the one we're going to tighten is going to be this one. Okay, we're going to go straight down to this one and then over here and then you're gonna criss or you're gonna cross over to this one then up then over here then this one then this one 
then this one, then this one. And then you're going to go from the middle on all of these. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And it's the same on the other side. And it's the exact same on the other side. Uh, this one is a Gen 3. So we have, wait, never mind, I lied. This is a Gen 4. Uh, the first pass on these big bolts is going to be 22 foot pounds. And then we're going to do 90 degrees if you have an angle wrench. So you would take it, say it was perfectly out to the side, then you would take it all the way 90 degrees and it'd be fa facing perfectly down. That would be a 90 degree turn. You're going to do 90 degrees on all of them for your second pass. And then you're going to do 70 degrees for your third pass. So it would be, you know, straight out to the side. If straight down is 90 degrees, then about right here. So if straight down is 90 degrees, then you're going to go about to right here on your third pass. Then once you have all of these torqued, you torque your top bolts. And they're just 22 foot-pounds. You just do them once. And then that's your torque sequence and your torque specs. Make sure you do both sides the exact same. A good trick is to get you a paint marker as you're torquing the, the, the bolts. And you'll put like one little dot on it. And then as you torque it the, the second time, you'll put another dot on the head of the bolt. And as you torque it the third time, you put a third dot on the head of the bolt. That way you, you know that you've hit all three uh, stages in the torques in the yeah the torque specs and you know you didn't miss a bolt either and you have deleted your displacement on demand and you have deleted it uh, you put your intake back on you put your headers or manifolds whatever you have back on and like I said if you can't get down to this point, you probably shouldn't be doing it in the first place, so you, you know how to put it back together. So, that's what you do. That's a whole DOD delete.